Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Biology at your fingertips and today we are going to study Mendelian genetics or classical genetics and I am going to tell you something very interesting about Mendelian genetics which is not given in NCRT book. So let's start. Mendel has chosen Pisum sativum for his experiment and he has chosen these seven characters to, ex to do experiment on and all these seven characters has two kind of traits. One is dominant trait and another one is recessive trait. So the dominant trait is one which is expressed in F1 generation in the presence of other. So the presence of other is not going to uh, not going to affect this particular trait. But in F1 generation the recessive can't express itself unless it is present in homozygous form. If both the alleles of a particular gene are homozygous for recessive condition then only it is going to express itself in F1 generation otherwise it is not going to express itself on F1 generation only dominant can express so the first character is seed color when we talk about seed color of Pisum sativum the dominant character or the dominant trait will be yellow and the recessive will be green when we talk about flower color the dominant will be violet and the recessive will be white pod shape inflated which is something like this and constricted which is like this so inflated is the dominant one and constricted is the recessive one flower position one is axial present on the axial axis or on the axis simply and another one is terminal which is present on the terminal position of a particular plant Stem height. If the plant is tall up to 7 feet, then it is dominant character. But if it is 0.5 to 1 feet tall, then it is known as dwarf, which is a recessive character. Then port color. Port color. In port color, the green is the dominant trait and the yellow color is the recessive trait. The last one is seed shape. The round seeds are the dominant ones and the wrinkled seeds are the recessive ones. So this is the data that is given in NCRT book but in NCRT this is not given. These are the number of chromosomes of Pisum sativum on which a particular, particular character of P is present. So we are going to emphasize on that. I have arranged in their increasing order. For example, seed color is the character which is present on first chromosome that is chromosome number 1. Flower color is also present on chromosome number 1. Pod shape is present on chromosome number 4. Flower position on 4. Stem height on 4. Pod color on 5. And seed shape on 7. So the question can be asked that which particular character is present on which particular chromosome of Pisum sativum or how many characters are present on a particular chromosome of Pisum sativum or what is the maximum number of characters present on a particular chromosome that is three characters on chromosome number four and two characters on chromosome number one. So these can be questions that can be asked from this particular topic and after that I am going to tell you some terminology and some basic facts about genetics so as you all know that genetics is the study of heredity and variation so we are going to talk about that genetics is the study of heredity plus variations heredity is the transfer of characters from parents to offspring, offspring from parents to F1 to F2 generation and so on. The variations is the degree by which the offspring differ from their parents. So the degree of variation from offspring and parents is known as the variation which is the result of sexual reproduction. After that, the term genetics is given by Batson 
which is not given in NCRT but can be asked in examination this year because the name of scientists or the books written by them is the new trend of NEET or AIPMT to be asked. So the term genetics is given by Batson. Mendel chose seven characters to do experiment on Pythium satayvum but there are not seven characters on P. There are many more characters but the number of chosen character is seven. S. Blixt is a scientist. This is very important. S. Blixt. We have studied right now that on chromosome number 1, 4, 5 and 7 all the genes for 7 characters of P are present. So S. Blixt, S. Blixt has identified that the 7 characters of Pisum satayvum are present on these 4 chromosomes. This is the contribution of S. Blixt on genetics. After that, Mendel was born on 22nd July 1822 and died on 1884. But he has done experiment for 7 years, which is very important to memorize. These 7 years are 1856 to 1863. Sorry, this is 57 to 64. Mendel was not the first one to do experiment on Pisum satayvum. The very first scientist that has done experiment on Pisum satayvum are Knight and Gross. But these scientists are not successful due to some issues like as independent assortment, linkage and many other exceptions to simple Mendelian genetics. After that, who rediscovered the Mendelian laws? This is a trick STC you know about STC phones. This is Hugo de Veris. Carl Corenz. And von Schermack. These three scientists have rediscovered Mendelian laws in year 1900. So this is all about some interesting facts and all about the characters that are chosen by Mendel to study genetics. So I hope that you like you uh, like this video and some more points are the genetics means genome which is related to reproduction. Genetics simply means genome. That means to reproduce. So genetics is somehow related to reproduction. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you are new then please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you so much again.